good morning, y'all. I know, like, I said that I was going to try to stop addressing how I look, but I know I look a mess, okay? I just took out my braids, and I had to wash my hair, and I haven't done nothing to it. <clears throat> but, whew, you guys, if my energy seemed low, that's because it is. It has been a crazy <laughs> couple of weeks every single week somebody has been sick and that's no lie like every single week somebody has been sick and majority of the time it's the twins that is sick so they're sick at the same time so dealing with two babies sick up uh, and then not only that it's not like it's just been like <clears throat> like they've been throwing up sick so that's been a ride but today we are on our way to take the twins to go to their 15 month checkup the twins were actually 15 months last month may the 18th but we were just now able to get an appointment this month in june so they're going this month and we're just gonna see what they're talking about see what the update is um you know what they should be you know you know the basics so Khalil, my concern with Khalil right now is because he is teething really bad. So his first molars are coming in. And one night he was like really, well, Sunday he just woke up and was like, like cranky. Like, well, I can't even say cranky, but just really like acting like tired, just wanted to sleep. He woke up and went right back to sleep. Then I noticed that he was hot. So he had a fever. Then I looked at his mouth and I noticed that his molars were actually cutting through. Because for the longest, his gums were just swollen. They weren't actually cutting through. But now they're cutting through. So I was giving him medicine, you know, all throughout the day. And then that night, I laid him down to go to sleep. And he was crying, crying, crying. And usually he doesn't cry when he go to sleep. He just, you know, watch Coco Melon until he falls asleep. So I went in there and looked at his crib and I seen blood all over his pillow and the sheets and stuff like that. So I'm like, where in the world is blood coming from? So I look at his mouth and his gum, like literally like, I don't know if y'all know what a molar is, but you know, usually when babies get their teeth, it's like the bottom, then the top, and then it's just like a, you know, like a flat tooth. It's not a wide tooth that's coming through. So it can just poke through. But with the molars, it's wide and it's a bigger tube. So the gum that was sitting on top of where it's cutting through, is hanging off, like bleeding. Hang, it's still there. So that's why y'all didn't get an upload this past week because he had wasn't going to daycare. And baby, I just couldn't do it. So that's where we're at with that. Other than that, I really don't have any major concerns. It's pretty much great traffic. Great. You know, I just have questions as far as him not being like as verbal as Kehlani. Um, you know, just want to make sure that, you know, everything is okay. It's kind of hard with twins to not compare them because, you know, they were born at the same time. And also, this is my first time having a girl. So, you know, I hear that girls learn easier, learn faster, and, you know, more mature, which, you know, we know that. But, you know, she just, like, you could tell her to put something back. You could tell her to stop. You could tell her to come here. You could tell her, like, she know how to bring you stuff if she wants you to open something. You know, and Khalil... As far as everything, as far as like, like, I can't say that he doesn't know what you're saying, but if he does know, he just disregarding it. I can't say that. So, their appointment was at 930. It's 935. So, that should tell you. But their dad actually um, took them there and I'm supposed to be meeting him. So, they should be there by now. So, anyway. This is the last week of school for my oldest two. And that has just been a ride. <laughs> because, you know, 
I don't know if, wherever y'all at if they do it like this but usually the last week of school they let the kids get out early so that's what they've been dealing with all week they've been getting out early at 12 o'clock and yeah <laughs> I really don't have like a oh she crying somebody got in a car accident she crying Aww. I feel like my days are just frazzled like I don't have no time to actually sit down and just collect my thoughts that's how I feel I feel like I don't have no time to collect my thoughts. Um, this upcoming weekend is Father's Day. So I'll document a little bit of that also. Um, my dad, he's actually not going to be here for Father's Day. So I can't take him out anywhere this weekend. But I told him that I'll take him somewhere once he gets back. But I'm going to still get him a gift, of course. And to get him one of those um, electric lunch boxes. Where you could just put your food in the lunch box and then when it's time to heat it up you could just plug it into the the lighter the cigarette lighter and do they still have those in the car anyway because he's a truck driver so that would really come in handy for him and i want to get him another gift too and then as far as the twins that I plan on getting him, I got him some AirPods, the, the AirPods 3, because he had the first generation, he had the second generation, I mean, he had the pros, no, he had the second generation, then he had the pros, but he don't like the pros, because he said that he don't like the way they feel in his ear, so, you know, they came out with the, the third generation, where it's like, the second generation and the pros kind of mixed together so i bought him those because he said that he was looking at them online Ooh, i look oversaturated but y'all the, the sun just the, the light be changing as i'm driving but so i bought him those and i also bought him a new luggage set because well it's not because we're going on a trip because i mean we do have a trip coming up but i bought it for him because when we do go on trips when we're in the um, airport, he only has the luggage that has like the two wheels, not the 360 wheels and stuff like that. So the 360 wheels really come in handy, you guys. If you do not have the 360 wheels for your luggage, listen, please get them because it makes it so easier when you're traveling through the airport and you're trying to like back up or you know what I'm saying? Just like move your luggage. It just makes it easier. So I bought him those and it's also a hard case luggage. So... It'll be kind of like less, you know, so it won't really get messed up because right now he has like cloth luggage and they be ripping it and everything. So anyway, you guys, where you going? Khalil, come here. <laughs> come here. Hey, Lonnie. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. You okay? You okay? You okay? Get up. Hello. <laughs> you tell him, get up. <laughs> and I'm just sitting here laughing, watching. Why are you bothering it up?
gotta come over to the skin, though. <laughs> and it's two feet eight inches. And his weight for today is. She was 21, wasn't she? But she was like 21. Oh, okay, okay. Her ounces were, so he's a couple of ounces more. Than oh, she okay. Is. You done gained some weight, girl. You done gained some weight, Kalia. Oh, get it when they say that you see the height difference. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, I got you guys all in. And Dr. Ricky was kind of getting right ahead of you. See updates? I can't. Girl, you look crazy with them Converse's on. Not enough. Boy, why would you do that? Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Your finger covering. <laughs> Your finger covering the camera. Come on, I'm trying to help you. Your finger covering it. Give it to your brother. Give it to brother. Yeah. There you go. Will he take too long to grab it? different than her like she'll if she wants to if she wants a snack she'll actually bring me the snack so I can open it if I tell her to put something what you back had? What you had? <laughs> if I tell her to put something back she'll put it back exactly where she got yeah. it from or yeah. bring me something but he just if I say Khalil come here he'll come okay um but as far as like yeah hi and bye well, he doesn't have any interest at all when I'm trying to teach him because even with the occupational therapy, because he wasn't opening his mouth uh -huh. to, to uh, eat. Mm, yeah. And well, every time I was taking him every week, he had no regard for what they were trying to teach him. But literally one day overnight, 
he just did start doing it on his own. Yeah. And ever since then, he's been fine. So it's like when I'm trying to. Huh? He does things later than she does. Yes. So when I'm trying to teach him something, like I can be like, bye bye, say bye bye, but he just. Looking at your necklace. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, what, what, I don't care what she's doing. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, you know, what we could do is wait till that 18 month checkup to see what he's progressed, where he's progressed between 15 and 18 months. Okay. You know, see if he's saying dead, to see if he's interacting more high by. Okay. Than that. Um, and, uh, you know, she's she's probably advanced, really, honestly, for 15 months. If she's going over and showing you the snack and you tell her to go put it back, she put that. Apparently, yeah, she got it. Yeah. yeah That's like a little advanced for a 15 month old. So, yeah. But, you know, you're going to always have that comparison. And I did ask the doctor before. He said it was normal. But you see how he keeps hitting his head? Yeah. He just, every time he has a temper tantrum, he wants to hit his head. And now it's going from hitting, like, he'll hit it on the hard floor or hit it on the wall. Or, yeah. you know. Yeah. 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 And it's scary because it's like, you're going to hurt yourself. Well, trust me, you have to tell us doing it. So, yeah. That's awesome. So, throw out flailing backwards when they don't get out of your arms, you know, okay. like he's doing this, not unusual. Okay. And then, yeah, he starts doing that, just laying down full and walk away. Okay. Because he's the one who's going to be quiet until something happens, you know, like, yeah. going to be like, so crazy. I check a heart, let's check a heart, right here. And then they got their nap to take care of going. Okay. Uh -huh. She yeah. She only allows them to. Um, like my mama. Well, I'm not gonna say allow, but she <laughs> they she make she had them all all the kids sleep at uh, the same time, so they only take one nap a day. And then you know at night time. It's amazing what the daycare providers can get kids to do. <laughs> yes, because at home I can never. <laughs> they're a routine at daycare. I don't know okay i'm gonna check your ears okay don't know how you're gonna take to this but we're gonna see you can move you got a molars coming in yeah hers is coming in uh -huh. I, I wrote it on the chart too that i was concerned about his because uh well i'll get to him once again yeah <laughs> yeah you look marvelous you mm -hmm. sure do i hope your brother does that good what do you think all right watch her yeah watch her sorry mm -hmm. okay is she done? She's done. Okay. You did so good. I didn't think you were going to do that good. What in the world? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sit up. Okay. So now I'm going to have to turn the camera on and I'm going to turn this way. Okay? This way. Beep, beep, Mommy, I'm going to sit right here. Whoa, thank you. Throwing yourself off backwards, Indiana. Making sure all the parts are good. Perfect. And that's fine. Okay, I put that. Where's Khalil? Oh, Lord. Don't have a temperature. Right here. So I've got to get you on this side, Mom. Okay, here. We're going to hold this. We're just going to do that all the way. I'm going to check his ears. I don't want to see him volunteering for that. Just check it. Oh, oh. Right. Let's check this side. Oh, how about how's the brush and the teeth going? It's going good. Yeah. Starting to get the. Uh, he's getting his molars. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to question. Right there. Yeah. He, I woke up. Well, I went to go check on him, and blood was all over his pillow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so come on up. I'll explain it to you. Okay. Got you want to get up? Sometimes when they get cut through the gums, which is what's happening to him, mm -hmm. they get a little uh, a blister on top. And that then once it pops through, like the left one, that's probably where the blood came from. Okay. Because that happens on sometimes they have a big old purple blister there. So he's got those on his four molars. So once it erupts through the skin, you might see a little bit of blood like you did this morning. It's okay. No, okay. not a problem. They hurt. Yeah. They hurt. But the, the thing is, his gums is. You seen the gum hanging? On the left. Yeah. Corner. Yes. Yeah. So that's going to eventually come out. Okay. Should. 
Now, if it doesn't, of course, I see the dentist. But, okay. Um, do you all have a dentist for them that you can get? Yet? I mean, I have one for my other kids, but okay. they haven't went to. Okay. So usually about six months after the first two teeth, which is about 18 months of age. Okay. So I think about, you probably want to call and get it set because they're way less teeth. Y'all, I just dropped the twins off to daycare. I'm not exactly sure how much y'all was able to hear because the room that we was in, usually the room that we're in, it has like a window seal on it. So it was I was able to like prop my phone up, but this room didn't have any type of window in it at all. So I was trying to prop my phone up on the um the chair, but unfortunately the twins kept touching the chair and it kept falling. So just to give a recap of what she said so she was saying that as far as Kaylani, she's doing really good she was saying that she is more advanced for her age because she was like usually at the age at 15 months they don't know like for you to tell them to put it back and they put it back where they got it from and i was like yeah she's really good at that like if you tell her to put something back she'll pick it up and go put it exactly where she got it back from or if she like finds something and she know it's yours like say for instance my phone is like not with me she'll go get my phone and bring it to me as far as khalil she was asking if i wanted to get khalil into speech therapy right now like if i wanted to sign him up y'all this lighting gonna drive me crazy but she was saying if i wanted to sign khalil up for speech therapy and i was telling her no you know i just want to hold off a little bit because i told her that when, that, when he was going to the occupation, I don't know if y'all remember when he was going to the occupational therapy. I mentioned it, but I don't. I didn't ever film it or nothing. But he was going to occupational therapy for him to go, um, for him to to eat because he wasn't opening his mouth to eat. He only would open his mouth for the pacifier or for the bottle. And I said that when we was going to the occupational therapy, a lack of better words, it was a waste of my time because he was not paying that lady no mind at all. Like, he was not paying them no mind. And literally, one day, he just decided, okay, I'm going to start opening my mouth now. And ever since then, he been opening my, my, his mouth to eat. So, I feel like right now, if we was to go to the speech therapist, I feel like it would be paying, like, he would be looking at them like they're crazy. Because even when we was in there, and I was trying to, like, talk to him and show him, like, bye-bye, he was biting on my necklace. So, I don't think that he is actually like paying like I don't think he pays it any mind but she was asking if I feel like that he understands what I'm saying but he just is not like saying it or like grasping hand movements and stuff and I do feel like he understand what I'm saying because like if I tell him no he knows and stop whatever he's doing if I say his name he know that's his name if I say Khalil come here he know to come here so you know if I tell him to go put it back no he doesn't put it back if I say pick it up um he doesn't do that either so I just feel like Khalil is just on his own schedule on his own time and which is okay that's okay um so once the 18 month point comes you know if he's still not showing any type of advancement by then then we could take that route but right now i'm gonna just continue keep trying to work with him and let him just grasp it on his own morning morning you guys it is now sunday <clears throat> june 19th juneteenth father's day and it is about eight o'clock in the morning it's 7 55 and I'm on my way to go get a Father's Day card and a Father's Day bag so I can put his gift in. I know I'm so last minute, y'all. I do this every holiday, but I have to go get that. I'm going to Family Dollar. It says they open up at 8 o'clock. Then he said that he wanted breakfast, so... I have to go to um, food line and get some breakfast stuff. I'm kind of like contemplating on how to do this because I want to give him his gift. So I think I mentioned in a, one of the other clips that I got him some AirPods, the new AirPods, and I got him a new luggage set. But the luggage set was supposed to arrive on Thursday. 
it did not come y'all oh hold on i'm too dark i'm too dark okay y'all can see me a little bit better it did not come it was delayed so it says that it's out for delivery today but i don't know what time it's going to be delivered and on top of that i got to deliver it to my mom's house so it's not like i could just wait for the delivery you know so i don't know i wish i could just call the delivery person and be like hey what time you gonna be here so anyway that's that the airpods that i bought him it actually was like a kit so it come with this four piece this four piece master kit because i can't show y'all in the house because he's in there it come with a four piece master kit and this has um the silicone neck wrap which i don't know if he's ever going to use that but the neck wrap the silicone protective sleeve so just like the airpod case um what an actual you know like a silicone case a charging stand a usb c to usb adapter and a carabiner clip for silicone sleeve so whatever that is and then i thought this was cool like say for instance you just need to take your airpods out your ear right quick i thought this was cool because he does have an apple watch so he could put this on his apple watch and just stick this he could just stick the airpods into this on the side of his apple watch and then these are the actual these are the actual airpods okay what do i need from out of here cards and a bag i know i can't put the luggage in the bag because it's gonna be too big so i'm gonna just get him the box that it come in but i need a bag for the airpods so that's what i need remember that Okay, y'all, so I found the perfect stuff in there. Well, the bag selection was bad, but I mean, he really don't care about the bag. I just had to get a red bag. And <clears throat> I got the card. So I got a card from my dad. This is from your daughter with love. And then this is the one that I got for him. I thought this was perfect. Okay, I got everything I needed. You guys, I'm really upset. Oh, I forgot the corned beef hash. <laughs> ah, now I gotta go back in there. Okay. I don't even know the best kind of gear, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, that should be it, you guys. Let's go. I got the corn beef hash. I didn't call my dad yet, y'all, because <clears throat> he's two hours behind me. So it's still fairly early. Oh, did I show y'all the twin? The twins made a card. This is Khalil's card to his dad. And this is Kaylani's. It's their fingerprint. And then they got a message inside. That say happy Father's Day. F is for fantastic in every way. A always there for me. 
T, teaching me sports. H, Harold to our family. E, expecting great things from me. And R, really the greatest dad ever. I was like, oh. So these two cars right here, y'all. Let me turn the brightness down, sorry. So these two cars, I thought that was so cute. So they have a car for their dad also. And I'm about to write to him. Okay, I finished writing. I'm gonna let the other kids write when we get in the house. And I'm gonna go ahead and put his gift. Is this supposed to come off? Oh, I was supposed to rip this part. Why am I so special? Anyway, can't go to bed. It's a little rip right there, but it's all good. Take his car, put it inside there. And now we just don't have to wait for the other gift to come. <clears throat> Whenever that comes. But now I'm about to go in here and cook y'all. It's not my fault You've been lying saying that I took away your peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you have no options I ain't take your options Now I'm not the problem Man, that's on you, yeah You've been terrorizing me yeah, I'm always wrong I knew you lost your mind when you dropped that bomb Girl, are you crazy? Yeah, you must be crazy I've been thinking lately Lately it's you You stole your peace Put it on me But baby, it's Like a ride, but take your stuff back, baby. It's you, 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 baby. It's you, 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 you. What did you think? Say whatever and I would never hear You've been flexing everywhere Girl, look in the mirror Man, you so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately it's you You stole your peace Put it on me but baby, it's you Lie like a ride But take your stuff back Baby, it's you Was for the time, then I would change the name. All done. So I never saw your bed. All done. Fresh weather. Then every day would rain on your parade. Shine, you can't shit. Yeah. If I was for the time, then I would change the name. All done. 